Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. I am excited for today's video. Today's video is my top 10 favorite fall lips. I know it's a little early, but yesterday I could smell snow in the air. It didn't snow, but it was so cold and windy and crisp and it made me think, holy smokes, August 31st, and fall is here. You know, I, am, I haven't been in Wyoming quite a year yet, but I lived here for 10 years prior to, so I know what Wyoming is like and how unpredictable it is, so I wasn't surprised, but I'm not quite sure I'm ready for it, but... Fall is upon us here in this neck of the woods, so I thought I would talk about my top 10 favorite fall lips. I do this pretty much every season. The only season I don't think I do it is winter, and I don't know why, but I don't. Every time I do this, I try to pick lip products that I have not mentioned before, and it's getting more difficult, even though I have a larger lip product collection, it's getting more difficult because I've mentioned them. When you mention 10 at a time, it kind of takes, you know, a toll on your, on the choices you have. If you guys know me, you know that if I hadn't mentioned Rum Raisin the first year I did this, it would be in this pile. Rum Raisin is most definitely my go-to fall lip hands down, go to fall lip. It's not an honorable mention. It's just a known fact. That is my top choice, but these are top choices for this year. What I'm liking as far as lips go. And also some of them are newer to my collection. Some are not. Some have been around. I've just never mentioned. And there was one I grabbed and then I thought, dang, I mentioned this for summer. So I couldn't, I couldn't mention that one, which was a really big bummer for me. All right, I'm scooting over so I can put my picture up here. In the number 10 spot, we have Maybelline's Almond Rose. Almond Rose is a lighter, dusty pink, if you will. I like to keep pinks in the fall season, even though they're not my go-to colors. I do like to have a deeper pink, not a dark pink, but a deeper, richer pink. And I think Almond Rose is really one that fits the bill. I think it is a beautiful shade of pink. It's got a little bit of dustiness to it, a drop of brown, I guess you could say, that really warms it up and gives it kind of a warmth when I am looking for a pink in fall that's what I'm looking for something with warmth yet still bright enough that you know it fits the bill for pink without pushing into the bright pink or the plum the berry category in the number nine position, we have ColourPop's Lippy Stick in the shade Alari. Alari is described as a matte, deep cranberry. It is probably one of the darkest shades I have here. I might have one that's just a little step darker, but I really like this, especially when we're pushing later fall, when it's really cold and crisp around Thanksgiving time. And this dries down solid. I, I swatched this earlier and I had to go scrub my hands because it won't come off. And it is just a matte. It isn't an ultra matte, but for some reason this dries down. And I think it's pretty. It just has enough hint of a berry to warm up that red and just make it a really pretty dark pink red. Number eight, I have this mini by MAC and this is the shade Nutmeg. 
it is like an orange well it's a terracotta but leaning more along the yellow brown spectrum than the orange brown spectrum this is a beautiful shade it's a little different than what i am used to wearing but i think it is very pretty different but very pretty and perfect for the fall season along the lines of a yellow brown sort of is this l'oreal liquid lipstick i have no clue what the name of this lip is it didn't come with a name on it when i bought it i got it on clearance it's this beautiful terracotta that has a lot of yellow in it can you see how much yellow it is so it's more yellow and orange with some brown in it so it's a much different terracotta that i'm used to but on the lip it is absolutely stunning in the number six spot i have an old favorite of mine it is bite beauty's multi stick in the shade biscotti to me biscotti where am i going to put this there oops i accidentally got it on that one to me biscotti is that really dark kind of plummy mauve it's pushing the envelope towards a mauve but it's still not quite there it's still got it still has enough purple in it that it's not as cool tone as you would expect it to be for a mauve but it's dark and that's really what i like i like medium to dark tones in the fall and as you can see here all of those kind of push that some more so than others though in the number five spot we have a nyx soft matte lip cream and this is in the shade sao paulo it is described as a plummy pink now this one is somewhat bright and that was a terrible swatch but it is somewhat bright but because it's a little darker i truly like it it it's a fun shade to wear when it's cool when it's cooling down because it's still a little more vibrant but it's not like a hot pink it's definitely a little richer a little more of a pinky red versus a fuchsia and that's sao paulo the next one is a gloss this is woofy by ColourPop. it is an ultra glossy lip this is described as a rich rosy pink with a flash of gold it is such a stunning shade this represents my red <laughs> in my fall lip lineup this year i try to have at least one red even though i'm not quite a red girl but this is really just beautiful on the lip love it to pieces the next one is a blotted lip by color pop this is holy smokes this is halo effect and it's described as a warm nude with a hint of coral now i have this in here because i do like my nudes to be much warmer than i would most any other time of the year and this is so pretty with that touch of coral in there i wore this lip a couple of weeks ago with a look and i had a heck of a time um, to go back to the lip i'm panning because i just really fell in love with that it's similar to the one by l'oreal but not as you know orange because i actually put them up next to each other because i was like man they're like the same but they're not this one is definitely more vibrant number two we have another gloss this is cranberry pie by nyx it is a butter gloss 
I have been enjoying this. I have it in a project and I use it to warm up the lip that I'm panning. And I really love, not only do I love butter glosses, but I love this rich plummy shade because it doesn't have anything other than this plummy shade to combat with if you put it over a lip. So it's just deepens up any lip you put it over and it's beautiful on its own. When I wear it on its own, I look like I've just had my socks kissed off of me. They look very, very juicy and all the blood pumped into it. So I love cranberry pie. And truly, a NYX Butter Gloss you can't go wrong with, unless you're trying to paint it. In the number one spot, it is what I am wearing today, and that is Air Kiss by ColourPop. It's one of their Velvet Luxe lipsticks. Air Kiss is described as a mid-tone red coral, and I love it because it has almost a pinky red lean to it versus a coral and I just love this. This also has been one I've been wearing a lot since I received it back in July and it's just so pretty. One, it's got that blotted lip look, that blurred lip and but then it has like this pinky coral shift to it. So you've got kind of like, it's not a peachy pink, but it's more of a coral pink. There's quite a bit of red in there, but there's not a ton of red in there. I just think it's gorgeous. Perfect for fall. It goes nicely with this look too. <laughs> Yeah, just very beautiful. If you've never tried these Velvet Luxe Lips by ColourPop, you should. If you're one to shy away from liquid lipsticks, these are really easy to apply because of the doe foot applicator being at an angle. You guys know I have a tremor and so my hands shake and for me to do a liquid lip is really hard but because the wand is short the angle of the brush is is nice but not wide and I just put you know some on the bottom lip put you know tap my lips together and if I have to fill in the top I will otherwise I leave it be making it very simple a very simplified liquid lipstick for someone who has a tremor. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. And it, but it wears, it wears like a, a regular lipstick. It's very light and just really comfortable. Yeah, I don't think there's as much staying power with these Velvet Luxe lipsticks. Like say a Too Faced liquid lipstick, but what you get in return is comfort. So yeah, that is the number one spot. This Air Kiss by ColourPop, isn't it gorgeous? So that is it guys for my top 10 fall lips. What is your go-to lip or lips for this upcoming season. I guess I can't say for this season since we're still in summer, but it's cold here. Let me know down in the comments. If I don't have it, I may have to check it out because fall is my favorite season and I'm happy to start fall early because I just love fall and I love the colors of fall and I love the makeup of fall. It's just a fun season for me. That's it, guys. Please take good care. Be safe. Be smart. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.